हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज कोरल रीव्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कोरल रीव्स फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कोरल रीव्स एनवायरमेंटल कंडीशंस फॉर कोरल ग्रोथ टाइप्स ऑफ कोरल रीव्स इंपॉर्टेंस थ्रेड्स एंड लास्टली लॉस प्रोटेक्टिंग कोरल रीव्स First of all moving on to the introduction of the topic coral reefs are communities of tiny living organisms called coral polyps which construct structures of calcium carbonate they cover just 0.1% of the ocean's surface but harbor 25% of marine species earning them the nickname tropical rainforest of the sea typically found at depths less than 150 feet in shallow areas Some reefs extend to depth of 450 feet. Now moving on to formation of coral reefs. Coral reefs are formed by tiny sea creatures called coral polyps which live symbiotically with microscopic algae called zooxanthellae. Calcium salts extracted from sea water strengthen coral polyp skeletons forming the basis of coral reefs. freely roaming coral larvae settle on hard surfaces near coastlines where new polyps develop from the skeletons of deceased ones creating layers of coral now let's discuss about environmental conditions for coral growth shallow water reefs thrive in shallow waters not exceeding 80 meter from the surface allowing adequate sunlight for photosynthesis hard surfaces Semi hard or hard surfaces are needed for coral polyps to solidify their skeletons. Clear water. Sediment free and clear water is essential for sunlight penetration to sustain algae. Warm water. Corals prefer warm oceanic waters around 20 degrees Celsius for optimal growth. Saline waters. Slightly salty ocean waters provide necessary nutrients for coral polyps and nutrient supply. Coral reefs thrive in nutrient rich waters supported by ocean waves. Now let's have a look at the different types of coral reefs. Fringing reefs close to the surface and form shallow lagoons found along the edges of islands and continents. Barrier reefs offshore on continental shelves running parallel to coastlines with wide lagoons between them and land. Atolls, circular or elliptical reefs formed on mid-oceanic ridges surrounded by seas on all sides with shallow central lagoons. Patch reefs, located between fringing and barrier reefs forming on island platforms or continental shelves like those in Bermuda and the Bahamas. Importance of coral reefs. Coral reefs provide habitats for diverse marine species and contribute to the health of marine ecosystems. They protect coastal regions from ocean currents and waves, act as a food source for millions of people and have medicinal properties. Coral reefs also play a role in meteorology, tourism and supporting the livelihoods of coastal communities. Now let's discuss about threats to coral reefs. Global warming, rising temperatures and, and increased acidity threaten coral ecosystems. Melting glaciers contribute to rising sea levels causing coral reefs to drown and receive insufficient sunlight coral bleaching occurs due to warmer ocean temperatures leading to the expulsion of symbiotic algae and eventual coral decline marine pollution plastic debris and contaminants suffocate corals impeding their ability to breathe and survive stronger storms and ocean acidification intensified storms damage coral reefs while higher co2 absorption weakens coral skeletons making them prone to diseases and storm damage now lastly let's discuss about laws protecting coral reefs international coral reef initiative that is icri established in 1994 to preserve coral reefs globally founded by eight governments including australia france japan jamaica the philippines sweden the united kingdom and the usa It has over 100 members including India announced at the first conference of the parties of the Convention on Biological Diversity in 
High Level Climate Champions that is HLCC appointed by the UN to engage non-state actors in supporting the Paris Agreement on Climate Change facilitate involvement of businesses cities regions and investors Global Fund for Coral Reefs aims to mobilize action and resources to protect and restore coral reef ecosystems provides grant funding and private capital for sustainable interventions supported by UN agencies nations philanthropies private investors and organizations the ministry of environment forest and climate change oversees laws protecting coral reefs with the coastal regulation zone act of 1991 providing specific protections CRZ1 category prohibits construction on, on coral reefs and mining or quarrying is banned in some states except for scientific purposes Now is the time for practice questions first of all prelims based question consider the following statements regarding coral reefs one coral reefs cover approximately 1% of the ocean surface but harbor over 25% of marine species Two fringing reefs are typically found farther offshore than barrier reefs. Three coral bleaching occurs when corals expel excess algae due to cooler ocean temperatures. How many of the given statements is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none. And now means practice. Discuss the major threats facing coral reefs today and their potential impacts on marine biodiversity and human communities. So that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications